It is the middle of winter here in 2023, and that means it is time to get our figs pruned. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here on a beautiful cold morning in January of 2023. If you've been following us along, you know that we have over 180 fruiting trees, vines, and shrubs here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert. And one of the types of fruit we're growing is figs. We've been successfully growing figs here in the Arizona desert since 2015. So the last eight years, we have 14 different varieties growing on this new farm. Our old farm, we had a lot of success as well. So I'm going to go ahead and link our fig playlist for you here. In there, we talk a lot about different ways of ensuring production. We also show you how we do pruning on older established trees, very, very young trees. And then today you're going to be seeing a lot of pruning being done on trees that are three years old. So before we get started on pruning, let's talk a little bit about the tools we're going to be using for today. So first things first, we have sharp implements we're going to be using here today. So always wear gloves. Hopefully your tools are sharp. It makes things easier. Don't want to cut our hands. The next thing is eyes. You only get a set of two your entire life. So we're going to make sure we keep our eyes protected. As far as our actual cutting tools, these are my Corona pruners. These are typically my go-to pruners when it comes to pruning trees. Now these are really good for very small branches, but most of these are larger. So for that, I have a pair of loppers. So these are a Fisker's lopper. By the way, a lot of these tools you'll find in our Amazon shop. But you'll see these Fisker's loppers are going to be really kind of my primary tool as I go around a fig tree. These work on branches that are up to a couple inches in diameter. And if I have any larger branches I need to take off, I do have either a handsaw, this is a Corona handsaw, or what I would actually prefer. So this is a reciprocating saw that I use pretty regularly around the farm. And it's actually my preferred way of dealing with sawing off large branches. This blade is actually specifically for pruning. You could usually find these on Amazon. Okay, the first tree we're going to be dealing with today and our primary focus is going to be our black mission fig. So you have a lot of options when it comes to the basic design of your fig trees. Now this particular tree is right at about three years old. So we're still establishing some of the structure on this tree. You can see we have a single trunk down here at the base. So the first thing we're going to do with this tree is get all of this growth that we have from the ground. You can call it sucker growth, but it's actually all still black mission. We're going to go ahead and clear all of this out first and then get to the tree itself. Last year, we left all the lower scaffolding branches down here. We wanted to get some production last year in its first year of actual fruit production. This year, we're gonna actually raise the trunk up just a little bit. So while we typically wouldn't prune this heavy on a tree when we want for production, because it's still a young tree and these grow very aggressively for us, we're gonna be aggressive again this year with pruning on this particular tree. Now, one of the things that I noticed as we were looking at this tree this year, we have some very evenly placed scaffolds higher up here on the tree, which is still only about two and a half feet off ground level, which is just perfect for us as far as the tree design. So with branches almost evenly spaced around the tree up here at this two foot level, we're gonna go ahead and lose these bottom large branches. So when I'm making these cuts up close to the trunk, remembering that this, this trunk is going to get much, much larger over the years, but I do want these to be clean cuts. So eventually the trunk is nice and clean. So when I'm making cuts, there's a collar that basically happens where the branch itself meets the trunk. 
I'm cutting about a quarter an inch to a half an inch onto the branch itself and leaving that nice thick collar up against the trunk. We've taken a lot of material off this tree. I definitely don't want to be any more aggressive with it at this point, but I do want to point out this tree grows very, very aggressively for us here in Arizona. That allows me to be very aggressive with my pruning cuts. Typically, you wouldn't be this aggressive if you're not seeing that same growth. So keep that in mind if you're not seeing several feet of growth on each branch each season. Now, the last thing I need to do, I want to take off any growth that's pointing into the center of the tree to encourage this tree at this point to grow out nice and wide. Really simple there. I'm going to leave the rest of this tree just how it is. We've taken plenty of material off of it. This is our brown turkey fig. Now we love this particular fig tree. Again, another very aggressive grower for us and a very heavy producer. We have some shots from our old farm of a couple of brown turkey figs that were spaced about 13 feet apart. They easily grew into one another and were giving us hundreds of pieces of fruit each every season. We did the exact same thing with this tree as we did with those two trees as far as the pruning is concerned. This year, my focus on pruning is really to encourage production in what we would call our growing zone or our production zone, which is about knee height up to just above our head. Now this tree has some growing to do still as far as height is concerned, but it's already getting nice and wide at about six to eight feet wide on all sides. So all I did was clean up the base of the tree, cleaned out the center, and we also made sure we had a nice clean harvesting notch that's a space that allows us to get into the middle of the tree for harvesting. One of the things with fig trees is they give off this uh, caustic, irritating substance that gets on your skin and starts to itch and even kind of burn. So when we're doing our harvesting, we want to make it as easy as possible for us to get into the tree, not rubbing up against the leaves and branches. So we leave an open area on the north side of the tree that allows us to get in and harvest quite easily. All right, this tree is done. Let's move on to the next. This is our Violet de Bardot fig tree. This particular variety is a fantastic berry variety for us here in Arizona. However, it grows just a little more slowly than a lot of our other varieties. So you saw I wasn't nearly aggressive with my pruning this year. We wanted to open up the center. I have my harvesting notch here, which makes it very easy for me to get into the middle of the tree to do harvesting. And we're gonna get plenty of production off of this tree. One thing to keep in mind with figs, most of the production is new growth off of wood that is at least a year old. So anywhere where I have branches right now, I have the opportunity to get plenty of good, strong production. So this is our Olympia fig. This particular variety is another slow grower for us. And the way this tree has grown from the moment we got it is a multi-trunk. Now we prefer to have a, a single trunk on all of our trees. It's just easier for us to manage. So we actually have a little guy that's right here in the very center of the tree. Maybe someday this will turn into a single trunk tree. But for now, with a slow grower like this, you can see we've let a lot, left a lot of branching in here throughout the tree to give us plenty of production. Sure. 
So the last tree you saw us doing here was our Kadota fig tree. And actually that wraps up our fig pruning for 2023. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert and would love to see you on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. One of the things with fig trees is they have a caustic material that comes off of, they have a caustic, <laughs> I think you like to say that word apparently. You're trigger happy. I am getting that way, aren't I? Yeah. No more for this guy. Fig trees is one of the many fruits we grow here, but would love to see on it. So just want to, so just want to, <laughs> I'm so cold I can't even talk. Nose is running, my hands are numb. I know.